What's up guys? No, that's not an intro. How are you? How have you been? It's okay. I'm here to listen. Tell me about your day. Okay, that's enough. Now on to the video. Hello! Today's video is a guide to killing undead druids. In this video, I'll also do an hour of undead druids to show what kind of loot to expect from them, and show you how to unlock the altar and the temple doors around the area. I'll have timestamps in the description. So there are two entrances to Forthos Dungeon, and a few ways to get there. I think one of the fastest ways is using Karet's memoirs or the Book of the Dead to teleport to just north of Forthos, if you're using the eastern entrance. For the western entrance, the spirit tree patch is a bit closer. Otherwise, you could use a Watson teleport or a Xerix talisman to Xerix glade, or a skills necklace to the woodcutting guild and run north, or use the Lovacane minecart system and run north, but teleporting to a minecart probably doesn't save any time. If you're using melee, just bring the best gear you have and definitely bring a salve. They are undead after all, so a salve is great here. They hit harder and more often with magic, so keep your magic prayer on the whole time. You'll need some food and prayer potions unless you have the altar unlocked. You do get some food from the grubby chest, but I wouldn't rely on it. If using range, I would recommend Void or Elite Void and Salve EI, Blowpipe and whatever you have that gives range strength bonus. Otherwise, wear things that give prayer bonus like Devout Boots. You could also use an MSBI or just a Rune Crossbow, but Blowpipe is definitely best. If you're on a Slayer task, it's usually better to just wear a Slayer helmet and use God Dehyde instead of Void. If you stand at least one tile away from the undead druids, you can completely avoid their melee attack. So you'd only really need to bring prayer potions, maybe a couple food just in case. Within the dungeon, there are three different undead druid spots. This room you have to enter from the western entrance in order to get to, unless you have a temple key. this room, you need a slash weapon to cut the webs. In this one, you either need the temple key or a slash weapon to get to, but this room is the best if you have the altar unlocked. Undead druids mainly drop runes, herbs, and seeds. They have some other decent drops. One of their rare drops is the Mask of Renewal, which is just the creepy big mask they wear. But the main profitable drop is Grubby Keys, which currently go for 40k each. Even after doing the Forthos mini quest, you can get more tattered pages. So in order to unlock the altar, you need the mini quest In Search of Knowledge done. I'll link the guide I use in the description. And then you need one of two things. Either 5 dragon stones, or you have to fight a level 186 monster and sacrifice a lot of dragon bones to the bone burner. I'm clearly choosing the easier option. These 5 dragon stones costed me 58k, but if you're using Forthos a lot, it's definitely worth it. Talk to Old Bertus and choose option 2. I don't want it, I have something better. Give him your dragon stones and he'll give you the temple coin. Now you have to leave the dungeon and go through the western entrance to get to the Crypt of the Moon. Here you 
can see at the end of the room is the stone relief. Pray mage to run through and use the coin on the stone relief. And travel through. Here is the sacred bone burner where you can sacrifice bones for 3 times XP. And a tanner. You can pull this lever to unlock the southern door permanently, so it's easier to kill red dragons and go through here to sacrifice their bones and tan their hides. To get the temple key, if you gave Albertus the 5 dragon stones, you only need 100 bones. But if you fought him, you'll need 200 bones. You can use any type of dragon bone, so baby dragon, normal dragon, lava, or superior. I just went with the cheapest option, I don't need prayer XP. Sacrifice all the bones to the bone burner, and in the end, you'll get a temple key. You can use the tipple key to permanently unlock both of the locked doors in the dungeon. Now I'm gonna start the hour of killing undead druids. I don't have a task so I'm using elite void. I'm also bringing a bone crusher, a teleport to a bank, and my book of the dead. I have a rune pouch with 20 nature runes for elks. I forgot to bring fire runes at first but I got them like 10 minutes later. A gym bag is only useful if you're staying here for a long time because they don't drop gems very often and a herb sack is very useful. Bring a holy wrench if you're using prayer potions. I forgot to bank mine. I won't need it at all since I'll be using the altar. Here's my route to get to the undead druids. The altar is just north of this room, so I'll be camping here. Oh, and I almost forgot to say I started with 2k addy darts and 4k scales in my blowpipe. They drop a lot of runes and noted things, so as long as you're locking everything that isn't stackable and have a herb sack, you can stay here pretty much forever. Pretty nice for ultimate ironmen. Also, after the mini quest, you can still search the bookcases for the books if you just want to read them. You can't put any more pages in the books but you can give them to Lagosia, which I'll show later. When your prayer runs out, just run north and pray at the altar. When you lose aggro, you can just run into the tunnel a little ways and run back. Okay, I think that's all the info I can give. I'll see you back in an hour. Hi, I'm back. I've gotten quite a bit of loot. I alked all of the battle staffs and strength amulets I got so I could stay longer. I sold everything on the GE and got 431k from it. Now before I go over the profit, I wanted to show you what you can do with extra tattered pages. Use them on Lagosia and you can give her all of them and she'll take each one for 1k. So I got 9k from that. I used 55 fire runes, so that means I used 5 nature runes, and 508 addy darts, and 1553 scales from my blowpipe, so that's 190k in supplies, so I profited 250k. But with the altar unlock and the temple key, both of those together costed 100k. So I guess I technically profited 150k this hour, but it's a one-time unlock, so the next hour I'd profit 250k. Here's the XP I got this hour, not bad. They're assignable by Toriel and Spria, so I guess if you're getting tasks from them and have a decent combat level, you should probably do undead druid tasks they're decent. Or maybe if you just want to train your combat stats and get some GP. These are pretty nice. That's it for the video. 
I hope this guide was useful. Let me know if you want me to make any more videos about Forthos. Since I have the altar and temple key unlocked, I can do everything efficiently now. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, lovely people.